I'm here today uh, to share with you my experience uh, working on uh, out to sea plastic garbage uh, uh, project uh, uh, in Lebanon. Uh, my main role was to uh, contact awareness uh, presentations uh, for the students in the public schools before they come uh, to our uh, uh, exhibition. So I will uh, take care of the first part and the two second parts uh, my colleague Janine will, uh, uh, will take care of them. So, uh, in order to conduct the awareness presentations in the public schools uh, in Lebanon, uh, the first step was to get permission from uh, the Ministry uh, of uh, Education. In return, we received uh, approval to access 90 public schools uh, in, uh, in Lebanon, and they were spread all over uh, the Lebanese uh, ter territories. And this up on our uh, request, because we wanted to make sure that uh, uh, the, the number uh, to be uh, concentrated in the rural areas in order uh, to let them take uh, part, the biggest part of this uh, uh, project. As you can see on the map, uh, it was spread all over the Lebanese territories. After we received the permission from the Ministry of Education, we started to contact the, uh, the schools, the administrations, uh, briefing them about our, uh, uh, about our uh, project, uh, sending them emails, getting information about, information about the number of uh, the students in order to set uh, uh, visits. In the meantime, uh, we were also working uh, to develop uh, the content of uh, uh, the uh, presentation with the help of educational uh, consultant to deliver messages and information about plastics in uh, 55 minutes to uh, an age group of students between 8 and uh, 13. And this was very helpful because it served as a, an orientation to the uh, students before they come to the exhibition to be prepared to receive the information that they will uh, see uh, and, uh, in the, in the uh, uh, exhibition. And of course, this maximized the uh, benefits. What were the main uh, items of the awareness sessions? First, we introduced facts and, and information about uh, plastics. Second, explain uh, the impact of plastics on human and uh, animals. Uh, third, introduce, reduce, uh, reuse, recycle. Fourth, we showed them art uh, photos of art uh, work, what they can do out uh, of plastic, the artwork that they, they can do out of plastic. And this uh, made the children very excited when they realize what they can do of plastic garbage instead of, uh, uh, of uh, throwing them in the garbage, the beautiful artwork that they can do out of uh, this. And because of this, they got encouraged and they uh, brought with them their own uh, artwork to the uh, exhibition. And for this, we made for them a corner, especially to expose their, uh, their work. Some photos to visualize uh, the presentations. Also, uh, examples of few slides. We uh, some of the slides we used during the presentation. Uh, some of the aspects uh, of the awareness uh, session aspects. Uh, the presentation was conducted between October 2014 and April 2015, which means we started the awareness sessions before the beginning of the exhibition, and uh, the presentations, it lasted even after we closed our exhibitions. exhibition. We covered uh, 42 public schools, reaching out to 4,500 uh, uh, students. Um, just to, uh, to conclude, uh, before I give floor to my colleague uh, Shanin, as I have only five minutes uh, strictly, uh, I would I'd like to say that the, uh, the experience and the feedback uh, and the interaction from the students and the administrations, it was uh, great, very uh, positive, and at uh, the personal level, 
this experience was uh, very exciting and uh, reward rewarding. The fact that we could uh, feel how much we could touch uh, these students, the fact that after we uh, finished our exhibition, they started to contact us to say that they did many exhibitions after we did the presentations and after they visited our exhibition. Uh, this was very precious and uh, priceless and it assured the fact that uh, education is the best way uh, in order to uh, make a change. And to close, uh, I received actually many testimonials. I will share one of them. Uh, dear Ms. Hadla, we really thank you for the great enlightenment you have given us on this real and serious issue of plastic waste. Our students were stunned of what they heard and saw in your exhibition. For us, that was only the beginning to start thinking seriously of how to spread knowledge to people around us. We have sent brochures, collected plastic, decorated, and will decorate some uh, more and more importantly, we are really thinking now of collecting plastic and sending it to a recycling center in our area, but still looking for help. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, coming to numbers, on site visitors were 6,105 persons. The breakdown would be for public schools, 48%, roughly, private school visitors, 35 or 36%, and other groups represented 16% of the visitors. For the feedback, we had different ways to see the feedback or to feed the feedback of the children. First, we have the direct, um, we were, uh, I mean, just observing the children during the sessions at school and during the on-site visit. And they were really pleased, they were happy, they were sharing, they were asking, and they were really interested. Uh, at the site, at the I mean, uh, exhibition site, we had a corner, we called it the commitment wall. In fact, it wasn't a commitment wall only, it was a wall, a space, where the children could leave a small message or even only their signature to say they've been through that exhibition. Uh, we had more than one, of course, uh, um, uh, more than one paper to collect, uh, inf to collect the, their feedback, but uh, uh, all in all, they were expressing they were really happy to go through. Some of them were saying we were shocked we want to help the animals, what well, it doesn't show here, sorry. Uh, some others were saying, we're here in the planet, in the recycling planet. Some others were just saying, I loved everything and I'm really happy and I'm interested and um, I'm happy because I'm gonna talk about it back home. So during all the activities that were taking place on site, was either storytelling or activities or uh, artworks or just visiting the exhibition and sharing the info, children showed their interest. As uh, my colleagues here had was saying, a uh, lot of children or a lot of schools were bringing back things to, to be seen by other schools or other children. And here we had that display area where we could show all the visitors what the schools were bringing in and we were proud to show the work that the children were bringing in. Challenges? Yes, we had challenges. Lebanon is really a small country and usually we are known to have very mild weather. Unfortunately, last year we had a very hard winter. And since in Lebanon we have very high mountains and a lot of public schools are, were coming from the peripheric area. So from behind the mountains or from the mountains, unfortunately we had problems having scheduling the visits of the school, rescheduling and rescheduling following the weather. And unfortunately again, we had in some areas in Lebanon where we had a certain number of schools 
uh, a uh, security situation that will not allow or did not allow the schools to join. This is why we had to reduce the number of peripheric schools and replace them by other schools from Beirut area. Technical and logistics, yes, because the public schools in Lebanon are not very rich. And we have, we still have a lot of problems. For example, we don't have electricity all over Lebanon. Sometimes in some area we have only three hours of electricity per day. Okay. For private school it's easy, they have their own generators. But for public school it was a problem. Although Hagda was having her PowerPoint presentation with her, it's easy, but she could not take the power with her. So we had to cancel some of our, or to reschedule some of our pre, uh, presentations. Uh, in a country like Lebanon, reaching out to the students where basically needs are not met, it's not easy to attract them and to talk to them about plastic garbage. I mean, this is like we were talking about the moon or really something they don't really care about. So, here we had to be very strong, to be very attractive, in order for the children to be interested to come. And I can say that we really did it because all the children were visiting the exhibition, were really happy to come, okay? In addition, uh, usually in public schools, children are not allowed to get out of the school unless they have their parents' permission. Unfortunately, part of the parents were not accepting that the children leave the school and come to Beirut, the capital, to listen about plastic garbage. So we lost part of our, uh, children, uh, of our children because of that. But we did have some successes, of course. Good preparation with, I will say, it's not only permission we got from the Ministry of Education, because we got list of schools, we had very good contacts, and we were directed over very, uh, uh, let's say, uh, interested schools. So uh, the partnership with the Ministry was something that facilitated our work in the schools. Management, I can say it was a very wise management and a polyvalent team committed and both were very flexible. This is why we could make it. We had a good media coverage before, during and after the exhibition. We had the chance to be inclusive, inviting refugees, needy people, of course through NGOs, to visit our exhibition. And believe it or not, we had the chance to have a group of blind people visiting the exhibition. It was tough, it was uh, not easy, but we could, by our words and helping them touching things, guide them through the exhibition. And they were uh, not only had they were feeling that we addressed them and we gave the, we gave them the chance to feel they were really citizens, fully citizens, aware and capable of uh, uh, taking their own place to help the, to have a better environment in Lebanon. After the exhibition was terminated, we had developed a PowerPoint presentation based on the information of the exhibition islands. And we took it out of the exhibition space to uh, address uh, social workers, student social workers, in more than one uh, center, in more than one university. And these social workers uh, have, uh, will be working this year on community development and they will take this information and use it in the different centers where they will be working. We have had a special session with a Palestinian NGO working in nine different Palestinian camps in Lebanon. 
and uh, they were really happy to attend the session before the uh, summer camps because they may use this information with their children. We even uh, had a session in a, a public garden and while working with the youth, a lot of children came by and were really interested because we were working on uh, handcrafts and in Lebanon our problem was mainly bottles, plastic bottles and um, uh, nylon bags. We were just working with that. The children came in and they were sitting with us. They took the, uh, the plastic, they took the, the, the pens and they were in here with us, continued the session with us. Last but not least, I feel that motivation and passion were our friends. And in this orient where people had different priorities, one of our goals was to bring some knowledge to raise the interest and involve the young generation, offer them some means to realize a possible involvement in the environmental issues. And if I want to be really honest, we think that we made a difference. Thank you.